On November 8, Super Typhoon Haiyan made landfall in the central Philippines around 4 in the morning, bringing death and destruction. The storm's maximum wind speed of nearly 380 kilometers per hour made the strongest tropical cyclone since satellite imaging became available in 1970. While the country's location on the Pacific Ring of Fire makes it prone to natural disasters, climate changes due to global warming may have played a role as well. Taiwan's high-speed rail can run as fast as over 300 kilometers per hour. Now imagine this is the wind speed of a typhoon. The average wind speed was at around class 17. However, the speed of its maximum gust was as fast as the high-speed rail. It was the most powerful typhoon that we have ever seen since 1970. Typhoon Haiyan made landfall in the Philippines with a maximum gust at near 380 km per hour, near the center. Such brute force knocked down all cars and homes in its path, scarring the survivors. Looking from the midair, it seems the central Philippines have been completely decimated. More than 5,000 lives were lost, and over 4.3 million people became homeless. However, such tragedy is coming here. Situated in the Pacific Ring of Fire, this country is prone to wrath of typhoons, earthquakes, and volcanic eruptions, plus the warm water of the Pacific Ocean to the east, with temperatures as high as 30 degrees Celsius, helps give birth to tropical cyclones. Eight to nine storms are expected to make landfall every year, but this year the number reached 20. The central area has seen quite a lot of development, Perhaps as people continue to build and develop, they forgot the importance of coexisting with the environment. Besides geography, at the recently concluded UN Climate Change Conference in Poland, the Philippines' representative expressed that climate change also played a vital role. We've been having storms, we've been having flooding in our country, but the intensity, the frequency, the gravity of the, the damage that these typhoons are causing to our country and our people, these are not normal. If it's not climate change, I don't know how else to call it. Taiwan researchers believe it is too early to conclude that climate change plays a direct role simply by observing Haiyan. However, one thing is for certain, the sea temperature has risen due to climate change. And according to WMO, sea water temperature around the Philippines has increased by 1 degree Celsius. Around the world, the surface temperature is now 0.5 degrees Celsius higher than it was 20 years ago. This means storms have more energy to feed on, making superstorms more common. The common consensus is that in the future, there will be more powerful typhoons that carry more strength and rain. The rainfall at the center might be significantly higher. Climate change has also raised the sea level by about 25 centimeters around the world. Thus, when a storm strikes, island nations face an even deadlier storm surge. Smaller islands may not have natural barriers and are less susceptible to storm surge. If the sea level rises by 3 to 5 meters when a typhoon hits, the surge would be no different from that of a tsunami. It has to be a climate-proof um, community um, and a resilient um, community to be able to, um, to adapt to the we ch changing weather patterns. Let's imagine a scenario, what if Typhoon Haiyan was to move north and struck Taiwan instead? How will it impact us? Had Haiyan struck Taiwan instead, would the island have truly been ready? Global warming and climate change are nothing new. However, reports of natural disasters inadvertently caused by global warming continue to shock the world. If something is not done soon, can we truly bear the consequences?